right, people, it is time for my review of the new intense thriller from Alex Garland called Civil War. But before I jump into this review, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my videos, plenty more fun movie related content headed your way. And of course, give this video a like on your way out, always helps the channel. Now let's talk about Civil War, which I've been very excited about. Now Civil War paints a picture of a modern day where America is completely at war with itself. There is a civil war going on and these photojournalists are trying to capture amazing footage while being on the front lines with a lot of this military that is involved in the Civil War and they're experiencing horrific things. They're experiencing so much trauma, more than you could possibly ever imagine. And we follow this small group of journalists as they try to make their way to Washington, D.C. because Western forces are trying to break into Washington and kill the President of the United States. Now, Alex Garland is one of my favorite writer-directors working today. I mean, he's just a terrific sci-fi writer and just a terrific director as as well. I mean, Ex Machina and Annihilation are two of my favorite sci-fi films ever. And the idea in and of itself for this movie was so intriguing that I really wanted to see what he could do with this story, with this cast, with this material, and really show us what he's got because this movie is definitely the most ambitious film that he has ever made. And for A24, this is definitely one of their bigger budget films, and you could tell this is a movie that's got some money behind it, that's got some production value, and it isn't afraid to flaunt it. I think Civil War is a really solid pretty damn haunting thriller that is definitely not the movie that marketing is making it out to be. And I mean that don't go into this movie expecting a straight up action film where it's just nonstop action, nonstop thrills. This is not that movie. This is a thoughtfully made, really well-crafted, kind of a slow burn action thriller that yes, will give you plenty of action to give you that bang for your buck that you're looking for, but it's the storytelling, it's the character work, and it's the use of the sound design and Alex Garland's terrific direction that really makes this a haunting thrill ride. So definitely go into this movie with the right expectations. This is a movie that isn't afraid to take its time and take some moments to breathe. So definitely keep that in mind if you're seeing Civil War this weekend. Now, like I just mentioned, Alex Garland just knocks this one out of the park from behind the camera. I think he's doing terrific things with these action scenes, with these great character moments. I mean, there is gorgeous imagery just littered throughout this entire movie, just shots that are just jaw-droppingly beautiful. Beautiful. There are action sequences that are so incredibly well orchestrated and well directed that are completely immersive and super visceral and intense. I mean, the whole climax of the movie, which takes place in Washington, D.C., is just one of the best sequences I've seen in a movie all year, and I think is an absolute showstopper. But what I really loved is Garland's use of sound design and pace in this movie, because one of my problems with this movie is also one of the things that I actually enjoyed about it. This is a movie that isn't afraid to take its time setting up the story, setting up this world, setting up these characters, before really getting into the action and meat of the story. So yeah, there are a lot of quiet, tender scenes between characters as, you know, Kirsten Dunst's, you know, photojournalist, her veteran photojournalist is basically training this new amateur photographer who's played here by Kaylee Spiney. And those scenes together I love because, you know, you're seeing someone who has seen horrific things trying to teach this young girl who has all this ambition, who has all this passion that, yes, you're going to love doing this, but you're also going to hate doing this at the same time. And of course, as the movie goes on, this young girl experiences a lot of things that show her the horrors of being in this profession. And just showing this whole movie from the point of view of a journalist on the front lines experiencing this you know, wartime horror, you know, it's a very unique, very compelling perspective that I'm glad that the movie explores and tells the story from because that's what makes this so haunting because it almost feels like we're on the front lines with them and we're not seeing it from any other point of view. And it's a subjective point of view that I actually really think makes this movie work. And the performances from this main cast are terrific. I mean, I think Kirsten Dunst is delivering some stellar work here. It's understated, it's nuanced, it's powerful when it needs to be. She's fantastic in the movie. And Kaylee Spiney is also really terrific in the film as well. I think she beautifully sells the transition of being this, you know, bright-eyed and curly-tailed girl who wants to be in this photojournalist world. And then as the movie goes on and she experiences what she experiences, you know, she's completely haunted by it and she fundamentally changes. And I think that she nails that transition in her performance. And the rest of the performances from this cast are really solid. And I, you know, Jesse Plemons, who, 
you know, he just has this knack of just showing up in any movie he's in, even if it's just for five minutes and almost completely stealing the movie and making the movie even better. That whole sequence involving him and his character is one of the most haunting in the film. What I loved about the pacing of this film is that there are a lot of moments where it's slow enough and quiet enough, keyword being quiet, where when a gunshot goes off or an explosion happens or something really intense happens out of nowhere, it's jarring and it just jolts you out of your seat just like it jolts these characters that are in that scene. And this works on so many levels and it works in so many scenes in this movie where it completely just snaps you into that scene, completely snaps you into that level of immersion that I think it just works every single time. And it creates this sense of unease as you're watching the movie, but a compelling sense of unease where you don't know when something shocking is going to happen and how horrific it's going to be. And it really gives you that sensation of if you were living in this kind of world and if you were following the military like these characters are here, what that would feel like and how scary that would feel on a consistent basis. So Garland not only nails those beats, he really takes his time with his characters. You know, he really crafts these action sequences with care and passion. And I think he just knocks it out of the park from the director's chair. And the only couple issues I have with the movie are that one, I do feel like, yes, this is a social commentary about America in its current state, but I feel like it really only dips its toes in the social commentary, it never really commits to it. It gives the audience very sparse details details about why the Civil War happened, what's going on. All we really get to know is that Western forces are moving towards Washington, D.C. to take out the president. And beyond that, we really know nothing. And I really kind of wish the film delved into that concept a little bit more because it's a great concept, but I feel like it doesn't really follow through on that concept in a way that makes it as compelling as it should be just in that social commentary realm. And also the pacing. Yes, I do love that it's slower paced because it makes the movie feel quiet until it absolutely explodes literally and metaphorically. But then there are parts of the movie that do drag a little bit and it feel a little bit drawn out where some scenes just don't feel like they have the punch that they should or they don't feel entirely necessary. And yeah, it, it kind of, the pacing falters here and there. But other than that, I do feel like this is an extremely compelling, gets better as it goes kind of film that I think is one of Garland's best. I think it further showcases his talents as a director and also as a writer. I think there's great character moments here, great performances. And I think there's a lot of imagery in this movie that is going to be haunting, that's gonna linger with you and kind of be burned it into your brain for the next few days after you see it. It may not be the most biting social commentary on the state of America today, but I think it's a really compelling look at what it's like to be a wartime photographer, how horrific and terrifying that could be and thrilling it can be also. And I think it takes this concept and it gives us a point of view that is truly terrifying, but also extremely extremely compelling. So in the end, I'm gonna give Civil War, I'm gonna give this movie three and a half out of five stars. I think just for the direction, the sound design, which I forgot to mention, which is incredible, the performances and just the overall storytelling, I think this is an absolute home run of a movie. It may not be perfect, but I think this is a really enjoyable, slow burn, that's rewarding kind of action thriller that I definitely think you should check out and let me know what you think of it. And speaking of that, definitely hit me with a comment down below if you have seen the movie or if you do happen to see the movie this weekend, let me know if you loved it, hated it, felt middle of the road on it. Let me know in the comments section below. And if you want to follow me on social media, put my handles at the bottom of the screen and they'll be in the description of this video as well. And make sure to follow my film podcast, Film on Tap, where every other week I get together with my buddies. We talk about movie news, trailers, we review movies. We go on some weird, wild, hilarious tangents. It's a blast. Link to that in the description as well. And until next time, everybody, I'm Tom Chattelbash, YouTube's most reliable movie critic.